Stephen Lungu was known by the nickname the Billy Graham of Africa, and he is an amazing testimony. He grew up on the streets of Zimbabwe. As a homeless teenager, he attended an evangelistic event in a large tent, but not to hear about the Lord. He was a gang leader who came with fellow gang members to bomb the event. They wanted to kill as many Christians as possible. But as Lungu and his crew waited outside the meeting to begin the attack, something told him to go inside and to listen. So he did. And instead of shedding innocent blood that night, he put down his petrol bombs and he had the shed blood of Jesus Christ cover all his sins. He was born again. Over the next several decades, he would serve with various evangelistic ministries all over the world and no doubt encourage tens of thousands to put their faith in Jesus. One day, about 30 years after his conversion, he was the guest preacher at a church in his home country. And he shared his testimony as he had a thousand times before. But he couldn't help but be distracted by two little old ladies who were whispering to each other and flipping through a Bible as he spoke. Having years of experience as a speaker, Lungu ignored them and determined to keep the service going. Then as his testimony progressed, he shared about his conversion, these two older ladies began waving their hands to get his attention and holding the Bible in the air and soon began to call out to Lungu, Come here! Come here! Frustrated, he said, I am preaching right now, sisters. I will talk with you later. No, now, we must tell you something, one of the ladies said, while the other waved the Bible. You were the answer to our prayer. Perplexed, Lungu walked over to them. They gave Lungu the Bible, pointed to a well-worn page in the back. And on that page read, May 14th, 1962, the night of Lungu's conversion. And next to the date was the simple prayer. Lord Jesus, will you save one gang leader tonight? Shocked, Lungu responded, But I never saw you that night. And the ladies replied, We weren't there. We knew about the evangelistic meetings and were praying. It took them 30 years to learn how God had answered their prayer. And the fruit of their prayer continues today as thousands of people now know Jesus through Stephen Lungu's ministry. This story is really a glimpse into what we will experience in heaven. We don't know exactly how or when God is using our prayers on this earth, but one day we will see what God has done and we will worship him forever.